All right, so this is a suggestion via Discord. The name of the video is uh, Donald Trump releases brutal ad of Kamala Harris debating herself. D what? <laughs> let's do it. Let's, let's just check it out. Everyday prices are too high. Food, rent, gas, back to school clothes. That is called Bidenomics. A loaf of bread costs 50% more today. Ground beef is up almost 50%. There's not right. much left at the end of the month. Bidenomics is working. The price of housing has gone up. <laughs> it feels so hard to just be able to get ahead. And we are very proud of Bidenomics. I'm sure you're super, super proud of Bidenomics. We're not the ones who are actually, you know, having to deal with it. And the fact that he called it Bidenomics, then it failed so miserably, I think makes it more ironic. Guys, right, doesn't it? But all right, let's check it out. Okay, okay, okay. In a recent official Trump campaign ad, uh, Vice President uh, Kamala Harris is shown debating herself uh, on various economic issues. Okay, the ad titled The Great Debate contrasts her previous comments uh, on the economy under Biden's leadership, suggesting contradictions in her stance. Yeah, guys, yeah, it's purely contradictions. I, I mean, she she seems to flip-flop, and whenever uh, she sees something that she likes, she kind of, uh, or, or benefits her specifically, let's say, um, yeah, she just uh, att attaches herself to a brand new thing that she didn't like before, but likes now, or may have been someone else's thought, and now it's hers. <laughs> guys told me to stop and read it all right so social media users have reacted to the brutal ad yeah guys i'm reacting now to oh yeah 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 yeah, uh, Bidenomics is not working. I mean, it, it may be working exactly how uh, you know, she specifically. No, 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 it's not working how uh, maybe maybe it's not working how she wanted it to. That's uh, right. But it is working out in a way that is absolutely uh, offensive to those of us who actually have to physically go into grocery stores, not like her or her husband or you know anyone else. And in, in basically in the White House high level, uh, none of these individuals actually touch the grocery store at all anyway. Right. Brilliant. Yeah, brilliant. You didn't have to really say anything, did you? <laughs> Her own worst enemy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's, bro, that's iconic. Whoever put that together is a genius. Tell you. Great job. Donald Trump has suggested he might back out of a planned presidential debate against a Democratic nominee, Kamala Harris. The two campaigns are at odds over the debate details, such as whether or not microphones will be muted. The latest feud between the Trump and Harris campaigns could keep the candidates off the debate stage next month. This former president is so scared uh, to get on the debate stage. I think they'll do anything they can to try to get out of a debate with President Trump. The debate before the debate is whether microphones should be muted when it's the other candidates turn to speak. Uh, yeah, because what she's going to attempt to do um, is exactly this. OK, um, she knows her being a woman, she knows exactly what happens when men when men speak, right? Um, <laughs> they're going to be mansplaining no matter what he says, basically. So he speaks, that's it. Then he's then she's basically going to get more people um, that have the same uh, you know chromosomes as her to uh, side with her based off of uh, that specific thing. Okay, she knows it. she's playing it. She's playing a long game, I'd say, right, guys. She's playing it smart in a sense here. Um, but no, 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 no. Keep those mics muted, right? Just so we can solve that issue. That rule was in place during the Biden-Trump debate in June. And we all know how that worked out for the current president. 
Now Harris's team is demanding the mic stay hot. That is absolutely our preference okay. in this campaign, to have live microphones so that the American people can see both candidates for who they are uh, and hear everything that comes out of their mouths. At a campaign stop in Virginia Monday, Trump admitted he doesn't care if his mic is muted or not. But he doesn't like that Harris's camp is trying to change rules they already agreed to. Now all of a sudden they want to make a change in the rules because she can't answer questions. We can't have another dummy as a president, okay? Several networks invited Trump and Harris to debate on their air. The former president accepted multiple offers, but the vice president has only agreed to a debate on ABC so far. In my book, there should be three presidential debates, not one. If voters are not informed, then it's not a democracy with real votes. If the ABC debate goes forward as planned, it will happen six days before some Pennsylvania voters can begin casting their votes, the first in the country. Oh, guys. Like, what, there needs, what needs to happen is... There needs to be a an honest sit down. I, I would say forget the concept of the debate, bro. Just sit down and let them talk to each other. And whichever one you like the best, there you go. Right? That's how that should work. Like sit at a table, um, hot mics, all of that, and just have a conversation, like, like an honest debate. No moderators, no none of that nonsense. None of that nonsense. Just sit down at a table, like regular people, not at a podium. None of that nonsense. Regular table. Pick a house that looks quaint, right? Nothing too modern or minimalistic. Just just like a regular house, bro. Like Bobby's house in, in I don't know, Pittsburgh or, or something, okay? <laughs> and um, just have a simple conversation at somebody's kitchen table. I want to see that. Two presidents, two presidents, you know, that are running against each other. Two individuals that are running against each other, let's say that, right? Sitting down at a regular old dinner table over some food and a, maybe a glass of wine or something, right? And just having a simple conversation about what you think is needed to, um, to, to fix the United States of America, basically, right? That's what I think needs to happen. We could talk about every single topic. Right. Maybe the moderator can, can say, hey, listen, this is the question and we can talk about it. That's it or something. But there should be none of that other nonsense. It doesn't need to have, um, you know, they don't need to shut down coliseums for this. None of that. You can shut down the street, obviously, for safety purposes. Right. But it needs to be in a place where um, it looks homey. Right. That's it. Guys. Personally, I think I would prefer that than how it's been do, been running. Um, I'm sick of the, the status quo, guys. I need, we need something new, fresh, guys. That's it. That may sound crazy, but let me know in the comments what you guys think. I've been thinking about that for a while now. Like, just have two people running for president sitting at some random person's kitchen table. I'm telling you, I love it. But all right, listen, guys, you guys all have an absolutely amazing day. Enjoy your day. Thoroughly. Guys, before we go, are you guys subscribed to the other channels? Logical Movie Reviews with Mr. L. Boyd along with Mr. L. Boyd Music. Both are found in the description. Check it out.